So today this little villager here has dreams of becoming a master archer. So to help him do that, we're going to be crafting some targets for him to shoot at. And then when he shoots it enough to destroy it, he gets some experience, which goes towards leveling up skills. This time it's concentration, which increases the amount of experience gained from breaking targets. So now it increases by 5%. So now when he breaks it, he gets 63 experience. And then leveling up one more time should be 66. And then one more time for even more level ups. But now he's level four, which unlocks some quests for us because we have concentration level four. And now we get a passive income from herb gathering. And we can also upskill this if we get concentration level five. So let's go ahead and keep crafting more targets. And you can see that we're getting a passive supply of gold which will go towards getting new skills that we can unlock. But first, let's get to level five and then upskill the herb gathering. So now we're getting two gold every time it's completed. So the best thing for us to do right now is just to keep crafting these targets. But now we have enough gold that we can upgrade a new skill and upskill this one one more time. So now instead of upgrading our concentration when we break targets, we can upgrade strength, which increases the damage we do from arrows, from normal arrows, that is. Also, the next skill costs 300 to level up. My goodness. But at least now we're getting three gold from the quest being completed. We should probably upskill this again, though, so we can get even more gold. So we'll go back to concentration for a little bit. And we actually unlocked upgrades. Nice. And this is a perfect time to get this one because it increases the concentration experience gain. And now that little amulet is circling him. But now he's level seven. So we can upskill this again. Ooh, and that's actually maxed out. All right, then. Let's go ahead and switch over to strength. So we can get some more damage out of these arrows. And we can actually unlock a new quest to do if we get strength level 6. And the strength skill experience gain that this enchanted bow gives is actually affordable. So now the bow has a little bit of a glow on it. So then there should be a lot more experience. Yeah! Gain from breaking the targets. Beautiful. 122 experience. I like it. And every time they levels up, we are getting some more damage out of the arrows. They're doing 26 now. But he levels up to 7, and now he's doing 27. Very easy to remember. But now we can unlock a new quest, which earns 3 gold on the base level. So we can dial back the gold gain just a little bit. And then once we get to strength level 8, we can upskill the farming to get 6 gold now. So now it's already better than the herb gathering. And if we get to 100 gold in a little bit here, we can make more targets. And it costs 30,000 gold to move to the city. This guy has big ambitions here. Good thing he's in a big forest. But now he can get more targets. So we can just keep him shooting even after he breaks one. And then he goes to the other one. And then we go back to the other one. Back and forth like this. There's not really much difference between the targets right now. But it looks like that's also maxed out. So only two targets. We can upgrade in a little bit though to wooden targets which have more health and give more experience. But now let's upskill the farming again. And again. And that's already maxed out. Earning 12 gold every tick. And we just need 300 gold to get dexterity unlocked. You would think a bow would start with dexterity. But maybe he's got a weird looking subclass or something. Either way we can get dexterity now. Which increases the fire rate. Very good. What is the upgrade that goes with that? Magic quiver? Okay, so that's 300 gold again. Thankfully, though, we are getting that very quickly. And we can already afford it. Beautiful. I'm surprised he didn't have a quiver before, but I was just kind of floating behind him. Very interesting. And now we need dexterity level 10 to unlock the next quest. And we need to make sure he keeps having targets. He's doing a lot more damage now because his strength is level 17. Oh, goodness. And the fire rate is already going way up. Look at how fast he's shooting now. So that dexterity level 10 actually wasn't that far away. The magic quiver is helping with that a lot, I guess. But now he can go ahead and do some hut building. And it also gains concentration experience. Ooh, I like that. It's like passive concentration income. And we could also buy the amulet of insight again to double that experience gain. And that already, wow. That already makes the cost go up to 1.8 thousand. At least we can upscale the hut building yet again. So now that's earning 170 experience for concentration every tick. And we're also earning 18 gold. I like it. So now all of his skills are basically the same level with concentration jumping way ahead. And we can upscale this again. And then one more time needs level 19. Thankfully, we are pretty much there after he breaks these two targets. Oh, maybe he needs one more. But now we can upscale that all the way again. So 36 gold every tick and 210 concentration XP. Should really make sure we keep building targets or else that concentration is just going to go way ahead of ourselves. But he's also earning 
like 200 XP from breaking the targets now, so that's even better. 203 XP at level 25 concentration, wow. We are also well on our way to getting the next skill, accuracy. How has he not been doing that already? He's been getting bullseyes, which tragically don't break the targets even further, but it's probably a good thing. Either way, that is leveling up super quick with two targets. And it's the critical hit chance. So right now he does 37 damage normally and 111 on crits. That is beautiful. And then we can get wooden targets to go with that. That probably would be helpful with the extra crit chance. So now, yeah, the targets take a lot more hits to break through, but the extra experience should be worth it. We'll just have to see how much more it gives. And it gives a, a thousand and a half? Experience? Wow, that really jumped up the accuracy level up. That's already level 15 now, and then a thousand more XP, and that raises it three more levels. We should probably go back to strength, just so he does more damage with the arrows. And we are unlocking more of these upgrades the more that we go. Ooh, autocraft targets. I like the sound of this. Let's save up for that. And there's also stone targets on the way. Wow. So now he's doing 43 normally, and was that 123 on crits? 129. And 2,000 experience from breaking the targets. Wow. And now we can get the autocraft. Beautiful. Violate. So now we don't need to worry about him ever running out of targets because they're always being crafted. Like right away too. I like that. And let's increase the strength experience gain even more. I feel like strength should be leading the charge here on what is the most leveled up, which it is getting close to the concentration. And do we actually have a another quest type available to us? No, because we need accuracy at level 20. I mean, stopped at a level 18. But once we do 200 damage on crits, I think we can move back to accuracy. So we're doing 168 right now. And then a few more levels up. Slowly getting there. We're probably going to be level 50 before he does 200 damage on crits, but that's okay. It also means we earn a lot of passive gold, too. So now we're doing three times the damage than we started with with 180 on crits. And sure enough, the strength is pulled very far ahead of the concentration level up. Okay, now we're doing 201 damage on crits. I think that's a good spot for these wooden shields. So let's go back to accuracy. I feel like the next quest that we unlock is, wow, that really sped that along. I feel like the next quest is gonna give us some extra, oh no, it's accuracy experience. That's gonna be helpful here because that's also what we're leveling up and we can already upskill it. And again, so he needs level 32 to get the last one, and that's also giving us 60 gold right now. But that quickly increases to 80, so we're earning 300 XP every tick of this too. And we can already get, we can already get the next quest already, which, ooh, upgrades two skills passively. I like the sound of this. So that needs concentration level 44 to be upskilled more past that, but also look at how much gold we have, almost 5,000. We should probably buy some more things, and the only thing I haven't bought of yet is this Amulet of Blood, so let's get that for a little bit of accuracy skill increase. And then another Magic Quiver, which I guess he only gets one tragically, but at least it's doing better for him. And he is just firing the arrows so much faster because of the skill increases here. And a bit more upskilling for even more. Oh no, that didn't add the experience increase it just added the gold that we get but we can also get another quest already deer hunting so the next skill here requires vitality and that needs 9,000 gold i don't know about you but i think he's very well on his way to being a master archer look at how quickly he's shooting now and none of my skills are level 50 yet either well let's upscale this again for even more money gains because we need to get the vitality even though i'm not really sure what vitality does but he is getting a lot more crits now which is good because his crit chance is 50% already. And it seems to match the level that he's at. So if we keep upgrading this, then every hit is going to be a critical. I like the sound of that. So now our quest is giving us 120 gold per tick. And we are still a few levels away from upskilling it to the maximum. But we are well on our way to that. Because it just needs one more level. And we could switch to deer hunting. Because this actually gives so much experience to both strength and accuracy. And strength is falling a little bit behind. We have two skills that are over level 50 now. But let's upscale this to maximum just for a little bit and then switch over to strength. Or the deer hunting, I mean. 
for strength experience. And now we have enough to unlock vitality, which unleashes additional arrows made of life force. But we should probably start leveling this up. Okay, and those targets give so much already. Wow. And then we can start to compare how much damage those arrows do, which it looks like the life arrows do a bit more damage. And that actually scales with level two. That is wild. These wooden targets are on their way to being one shot. So we're probably gonna need the stone ones here in a little bit which costs another 8,000. But now we can upskill the deer hunting, so we're earning even more gold from there. And we're also doing 50,000 damage a minute. That is crazy. And we can unlock even more skills like magic affinity. And I do want to keep upskilling this, so let's turn our focus over to strength for a little bit because the life arrows are now doing 500 damage. How much life does this guy have? It's at the point now where the life arrows are doing more overall good for the damage per minute than the normal arrows. Actually, it looks like they've evened out so that's good for a little bit and now the deer hunting is maxed out so we need vitality level 52 to get the next quest and we stop just shy of that yet again funny how that works out is there any more items that we can buy too first let's get the next quest mining oh wait the deer hunting can actually be upskilled further the rest of these quests max out at level four so the deer hunting can be even better for us Ooh, i like that idea so we'll get the strength up even more to level 64 and then is that the new maximum oh hey we did unlock all the jobs so there's that okay deer hunting is maxed out at level five earning us 400 gold per tick i like that and then this mining is purely for vitality which is cool i guess as it is now doing more damage than the normal arrows by a huge margin so i guess we can keep going into that we do need more gold to get magic affinity anyway so i might as well just keep upskilling this maybe until it does more than the oh it actually already does more switching over to mining these vitality arrows are gonna be doing so much damage and there's also an amulet of vitality so let's make sure we get that and buy some stone targets and we're actually starting to max out the upgrades here so let's just keep buying more things and now the stone targets actually don't take very long to break anymore and we're still earning so much experience from breaking them too 32,000 experience even though they break so fast our guy is going crazy here okay I I decided to let this thing run for a bit just so I could get a little bit of money, but we have 426,000 now? What? This guy is really committed to the quest that gives him the most, and it's not even fully skilled up yet. Wow. But if we do, then he's earning a thousand gold a tick. So we can actually, oh wow, his vitality is almost level 100 as well. We should probably balance out this a little bit. So more dexterity. Oh, and that's a major boost. And it's just going to make his fire rate go even faster. That is scary. But now we can get a new skill for magic affinity. So now we have actually all skills unlocked. Nice. I've discovered magic. Yeah, I would like to check it out. Oh, okay. So we have a skill tree here that is passively filling up depending on... What exactly? Damage done? Well, either way, it's going to be a little bit before we can access these skills. So let's just go back to here. And okay, so we can upgrade the experience gain for magic. So let's just go ahead and dump a whole bunch of levels into that right away. 32 already. So the speed of the magic gain is already 200%. And even more so. So now it's starting to go up at a decent pace. Actually, I also didn't realize that these were the bottom of the skill tree instead of the top. So we can get mana arrows already. So let's do that. So now we have a third type of arrow that we're shooting, which is only doing 60 damage, it looks like. Is that the same as our normal ones? It's actually weaker than our normal ones, but we can probably just keep increasing that, like increasing the fire rate and the damage and also just more damage. So damage. Now the magic arrows are doing 90 damage. And do they crit? I hope they crit. It's probably an upgrade, actually. Oh, man, we're locking so many other different types of arrows, too. I love this. We need to keep increasing the magic affinity, which, sadly, there isn't a job that relates to magic either. Ooh, but there is a wizard trainer that can do that for us, so we just let him stand off to the side. And the arrows are firing so much faster. Oh, my goodness. We need to buy the rest of these to max out those, and then we can... Oh, we actually can't max out the wizard yet. Need 875,000 gold for that. We can also move to the city whenever we want for more opportunities. I like the sound of that. So let's move to the city. And now we are, this is the city. This really, this is the outside of the city. How is this moving to the city? I guess they probably don't let a madman firing arrows nonstop within city limits, but that also unlocks even more upgrades for ourselves. Oh, whoa, like time? That costs 20 million. Wow. 
Well, let's just buy what we can here first. And there's actually a third target. I didn't realize I bought that one. But that is going to be helpful in here when we unlock first mana arrows fire rate and then ice arrows that fire at multiple targets. And they actually do 400 damage on their own. Wow. So we can get more damage for the magic arrows. And then we just keep increasing the magic affinity because that percentage or that experience gain is already up 385%. Ooh, and we can increase the mana arrow damage by the level of the vitality skill. That's already gonna be so much. And just like that, the magic arrows are doing 304 damage. And is there new? Okay, so there's new jobs here that are not the same as what we had before. And this one is giving more concentration experience. So I guess we're going through this whole thing again. And the next again. quest things even have even more level requirements to unlock them. So we need more accuracy. So I guess we can take a break from leveling up magic affinity that's already doing 415 extra speed there. So let's go ahead and get more accuracy and just let that boost like crazy because we're destroying multiple targets very fast. And we are also earning a thousand gold a tick again. So we're up 50,000 here. And since we're leveling up accuracy, let's just get another amulet of blood for 150% increase and upskill this again and get new quest sharpshooter where we can earn double experience every tick again. Good. And upskill it already. So we're leveling up just so so many skills all at once. Sadly, moving to the city didn't unlock new ones for us, but I'm not even sure our guy could really handle that. Look at how fast his arm is moving. I actually don't even think it is moving. I think it's just the arrows in front of it, but that's still a lot of arrows going out there because all those arrows combined were doing 336,000 damage a minute and it just keeps going up and it, it, it doesn't really look like it's slowing down. Okay, it's slowing down a little bit. So it's averaging about 340,000 a minute. That's still a lot of damage. And we can upscale both of these again, so sure. But this quest gives us four and a half thousand gold a tick. It's at the point now where the stone targets are at the same level as the basic ones. It as far as like how long they last. And we can upskill this again for 6,000 gold a tick. What else can I buy? Dexterity gain, vitality gain. Oh, and this just increases the amount of targets you can have crafted at once. Well, we're still only breaking one target at a time, so it's really not that much of an issue. Plus they craft so fast anyway, it really doesn't matter. So more accuracy gain, I guess, and the amulet of vitality because it's still, su it's still super cheap, or at least it was. So now it looks like the starting maximum level for the jobs in the city is still five. And this needs accuracy level 94 to upskill again, which we are almost there. So that gets one more upskill. And then we need dexterity level 95 to continue this. How many magic points do we have? 22. I forgot to check in on this. So we can get another type of arrow, fire arrow that hits random targets doing 250 damage, it looks like. Strength will increase damage of the fire arrows by half of the normal arrow effect. Sure, that's that should still be a lot. Yeah, it's already doing 663 now. And I don't even know if these magic arrows can crit. What about this though? Vitality skill experience, sure. And then crit rate of ice arrows. I like the sound of that. And then more mana arrow skill and then concentration experience. And let's just go ahead and increase our accuracy to level 100. And then we can start to work the rest of them up that far because strength and dexterity are still the lowest. It's like making a caster class. Yeah, our guy's got the brain the size of a mountain, but his arms are like toothpicks. Let's change that because the strength increases the normal arrow damage, and that should also increase the damage of the fire arrows because of that magic upgrade. And sure enough, they are both going up. It looks like the ice arrows are doing over a thousand damage? Or I guess that's on crits, but that's still a lot. And also the strength is upgrading incredibly fast. It's already almost level 90. There's probably a lot of upskilling that we can do at these next couple of jobs. And also the accuracy is just passively leveling up still, so that's level 101. We're almost getting there. So now, Strength is going to be level 100 as well. And it looks like concentration is well on its way to doing that as well. Just on its own. And hey, we have a million gold here. I didn't even realize when that happened. But that means we can get even more upgrades like another Amulet of Blood, maybe. But also I think it's time for Mithril targets because these stone ones are breaking way too fast now. So now as they break, they're being replaced with Mithril and there we're going back to them taking a while to break. Actually a very long while. How much health do these things have? 150,000 health. But how much experience do they give when they break? 1.32 million? What? Which still boosts the skills by a couple of levels each time. We're just not getting in nearly as fast. 
That's okay though. And it does look like magic arrows are doing the most damage still because of how high the vitality bonus is. And I think at this point we can just go for the cheapest upgrades right now. So magic quiver there for dexterity gain. And now that costs almost a million. And then amulet of insight and vitality. And we can get a new quest, an assassin quest. We're going to jump from rooftops and land in hay bales too, or be pushed back to February. But either way, we're in 8,000 gold every tick and so much concentration experience too. So that's level 100 and it wasn't even doing anything. So now we have most of our skills over level 100. Let's work on some more magic affinity so we can continue that boost. Speaking of, we have 32 of these points again. So let's just casually make our way down the tree. More strength to the fire arrows that are doing 1.5 thousand. And I don't even think that's a crit. Ooh, spectral arrows. Sure, I'll take these. So we have, how many arrow types do we have here? We have six types of arrows and we're doing a million damage a minute. Wow. Now that's a lot of damage. That was also the name of the achievement, so that's kind of funny. But how much damage are the spectral arrows doing? Not a whole lot, it looks like, if that's what they are. It's really hard to tell where they're going. But it looks like they're still doing 1.5 thousand as well. So let's just double that damage. You know what? Double the damage. 3,000 damage there, and then, ooh, increased gold gain. I like the sound of that, doubling that twice. 24,000 a tick. Very easily getting back to a million gold. And also upskill us yet again for even more. 36,000 gold a tick. And you know what? Let's just increase the wizard levels a, a little bit more. And the enchanted bow. Now most of the upgrades cost a million gold plus to upgrade again. A very good situation to be in. And now there's just one skill left that isn't over level 100. And that's the magic arrows skill, which, wow, that was a lot of levels already. Okay, that was... That was very quick. Now the magic arrows are doing a thousand damage all on their own. At least I think so. They're kind of just going very fast. And it seems like the fire arrows and the magic arrows are doing the same amount of damage. Oh man, there's portal arrows Hello too. How do these again, even work? Welcome. Sure, just fire those too. Oh, they get launched out of portals. Look at that. Very interesting. And I'm guessing those are doing 1.2 thousand, which is not a lot, but it's a little bit more pushing our damage per minute even further into ridiculousness. Okay, this needs to be dexterity level 110. So let's go back to this and just keep moving through the jobs and then wonder how many are the maximum upgrades here because this is the last one that didn't cost a million and now it does. And these only cost a million and change. So let's increase you and then upscale this yet again. So that's maxed out. 48,000 gold a tick. Very nice. Okay, so strength needs to be leveled up more to get the next quest. And thankfully, the amount of experience that we get from these mithril targets is able to keep up with how much is needed to advance basically one level each time. At least for a little bit. We should probably find some more experience gain upgrades if we can, but I don't think we can. Actually, we are upgrading the strength skill right now, so let's grab this. Now this should be moving a little faster, and we can get, oh no, 115. And and there it is, new job. Arena champion, wow, really moving up in the world, which requires even more strength skill to level up. And not that this really makes a difference, but let's just buy another more targets upgrade just to get that out of the way. And then even more up skills, so we're earning how much gold? 54,000 a tick without this being maxed out. And we're earning almost a million experience passively for those things, which is crazy that it only moves the bar a little bit because of that. Oh, but hey, we actually have more targets here. Beautiful. I kind of wish it would say how many arrows are being shot every second because this is a lot. I mean, we kind of get that looking at dexterity increases fire rate of all arrows by 500 plus percent. And you know what here? Let's just keep feeding into the concentration skill because that affects all the experience gain, at least as far as breaking targets is concerned. So those give 7.6 million when they break. My goodness. And now we're earning 108,000 gold a second. What other magic skills can we get? Life force, arrow damage, accuracy experience, crit chance, and ooh, crit damage of all arrows. Yeah, double that twice. So we should start seeing arrows that are doing a million damage here pretty soon. It's really hard to tell what damage is being done. I just see a lot of Ks. Ooh, skill experience from quests. I like the sound of that. And magic, magic affinity experience, and oh, interesting. For every unspent magic experience, increase portal arrow damage. I like the sound of that, even though that's gonna flow 
fluctuate like crazy because we're still upgrading or we're still unlocking things in the upgrade tree. But we can upskill the arena champion skill to that or not skill quest to that maximum. And then concentration needs to be level 135 to keep going here, which we are looking very good for all these things. We're doing over 3 million damage a minute. And now the ice arrows are actually doing the most, followed shortly by the normal arrows, probably because our strength got upgraded through the roof. And there's only a few more upgrades to go here. And there isn't another location that we can go to either. The only thing we don't have access to is this amulet of time, which increases all experience gain. And we are actually well on our way to getting there. But hey, now we can get the next quest. Royal Guard. Oh boy. And it's giving three skills experience. But we can keep pouring into concentration because that's how we upskill the quest. I feel like at the end of this, we're going to be earning a million gold a tick. And let's get even more concentration gain and maybe another enchanted bow thing or two. Another amulet of blood for more accuracy bonus. Although I feel like accuracy at this point is kind of moot, putting so many arrows in all parts of the target. It's like the enemy is standing right here. Okay, we're moving right there. And the concentration is still going up at a pretty steady pace. It's a little bit slower, but all this time lets us get more magic points over here, which is also increasing the... What was it? The spectral arrows or the... Oh no, it was the portal arrows. So that's now dominating all of the damage that we're doing. But we can also change that very quickly by unlocking a few more things here. We're down to the very bottom of the skill tree, at least on one side, and we can finish out this branch. So now the portal arrows are tragically going to fall down in the damage that they're doing, at least for a little bit. And now we're going back to the cheapest things. Oh, actually we can buy the amulet of time now. All skill experience gained by 100%, basically doubled. Yes, please. Oh, and we can buy that again. Oh boy. But that is helping the concentration get up even higher because because that was starting to get a little slow. And the dexterity is climbing too from that quest. And now at level 159 concentration, Royal Guard quest is maxed out entirely. So look at all the millions of experience that we're gaining for all those passive skills there. And now we need magic affinity up to get even more of these. And I feel like that is just gonna boost through a lot of them. Yeah, look at how fast it's going. Or at least for a little bit. It's even better when we're breaking targets in quick succession. And let's also get more magic affinity bonus by upgrading the wizard yet again. And yeah, a few more things. But now we can go ahead and get a new quest, a dragon hunter. Surprising they didn't have this sooner, but now it upgrades four skills passively. Oh boy, we can upskill it already? Which only adds to the money reward, but look at all of that experience still. Our skills are shooting up like crazy. What even is the maximum level here? But now the portal arrows are starting to lead in damage, so I guess it's time to distribute the magic points again to be able to finish out this fire tree and then, ooh, be just shy of finishing out the fire arrow thing entirely. But now we can also get another magic quiver, which means that all of these skills cost at least 20 million to upgrade and more wizard time. Okay, so that's actually the maximum upgrade for the wizard here, which is good. I'm not sure how much more upgrading the wizard trainer could take. But now we have half of the magic tree completely maxed out, which is already doing so much for us. I kind of stopped reading these just because it all just becomes a little redundant at this point. Oh, and the dragon hunter quest only went up to level four. Interesting. But we're also earning almost a million gold a tick. So the last shot will probably do that and we can unlock it right now. Cloud Piercer, oh boy. And there's end game requirements too. Become the greatest archer. All these skills need to be level 168. Can't it be one more level? That would be nice. But concentration is already there. Slowly getting there and it can. Nice. Nice. But not really what we need either. We haven't even bought all the upgrades here yet. You gotta be patient, game. Or all these upgrades. We need 15 points plus 18 and then plus 7. So something like 40? We can get all of these right now anyway. And upgrade the cloud piercer yet again. Command weather and clouds using arrows. I didn't even read how much experience all the skills gained from this too. And there we go, we're earning a million gold a tick now. Beautiful. So all of the skills should reach the requirements in no time. Let's just get another experience.
experience increase from here. Oh man, there's another one there. There's another upgrade that we can get. But now it's two skills that are at the required level with a third on the way and then fourth just behind that. And I feel like these last two are just gonna get boosted like crazy. Upskill this again. Okay, there is another level here. We're almost, we're about to earn two million gold a tick. And now the magic affinity is up to the level, but we'll keep going here. And all of the arrows are starting to even out on how good they are too with the exception of the magic arrows. But let's shift our focus to vitality being the second lowest. And those actually are not increasing as fast as I thought they would. It's a pretty reasonable pace here. I also love that the city's idea of our guy controlling the weather is literally just to shoot the clouds. It's like, ah oh, yes, cloud is not doing what you want, shoot it. Actually, let's go back to magic affinity because I didn't realize that this needed such a higher level to upskill it again. Hopefully to the last. And then a couple more experience purchases here. And I'm guessing these are the last two upgrades here. So we need 280 plus 83. That's what, 390 million? Oh boy. At least we can upskill it now. Now it's maximum level. And we're earning 2.4 million a tick. So we just have to wait for that 390 or so monies, millions of monies that is, to buy the rest of these upgrades. At least I hope they're last ones. Let's get another amulet. Oh, there's another one after that? How many more amulets of time can I get? At least I'll help max these skills out. So let's go back to vitality. I mean, I feel like this guy became the greatest archer a while ago with how crazy things are going. We're doing almost 10 million damage a minute. And we should actually, yeah, we have enough magic points to buy the rest of the skill tree. So now all the maximum bonuses from this are in place and that's just gonna keep going up so we can get even more portal arrow damage. I can't even tell which damage number belongs to them either. There is just a lot of Ks. No M's though, sadly, except for the experience which, you know, is still good. But now our vitality is up to the required level. So we can actually just keep increasing this until we get the money that we need, I feel like. Because that just keeps increasing the damage of the mana arrows. Or no, that's the life or life force arrows, which is starting to get up there. Not much though. One more amulet of blood, hopefully. Okay, so that's the last of those. Kind of wish there was an amulet of money gain though. But since we're earning 2.4 million gold every time the quest is completed, we should be able to get the rest of these pretty reasonable reasonably fast. And I figure we can just save up until we can get both upgrades at once. So vitality, yes. Please be the last amulet of time. Oh, thankfully it is. That's all the upgrades that we can get, which that is a long list of upgrades too. And we are fully stocked up on the magic experience here and the quest is maxed out fully. Now it's just a matter of getting the accuracy all the way up, which should not take very long at all. Look at how fast that is climbing. And then when we get up to that level, the critical chance will be at 168, but it doesn't really increase the damage at all, sadly. But now that is it. That is all of these skill requirements to become the greatest archer. And after verifying that there really is nothing more that we can do here, let's finish. We did it. We became the greatest archer. Woo, hey. We got a right angle here. Went from zero to hero in a matter of an hour. But that was fun though. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know. And thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And I would like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, DeviantX, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, Lily, The Miner Within, The Garrity, Sands, Isaac, V, Killer Squad, Mousy, and Nicholas.